All right. Well, let's get started. I want to be mindful of your time tonight. And so thank you guys all for joining, whether you're watching live. I know a few of you are on here and then those who are watching the recording. I have been really excited for this event really since the beginning of the, uh, the fall, because this is something that I really love to teach on. So holiday helpers, nine nutrition tips to help you eliminate food, overwhelm, and overindulgence this holiday season. Oops. Okay, perfect. There we go. All right. So again, welcome to this, this event. Um, and you know, tis the season for all the yummy things that we love. We love sugar cookies and eggnogs and pumpkin pie or pecan pie, whatever one you prefer. And years of, after years of learning and figuring out the best ways to maintain my health, my energy and controlling my cravings, I am super passionate about helping other busy women just like you feel the same during the holidays. So less focusing on obsessing over the food and more on enjoying the food, the people and the experience. And so for the next about 20 minutes through this event, I'm gonna be sharing um, my favorite and simple tips that have really worked well for me to maintain my health and wellness during the holidays. And I'm going to be sharing all my secrets and going to teach you all the things when it comes to creating an action plan to help you enjoy this holiday season while also seeing results. And so, because this is what I found out, friends, that you can still feel freaking confident and good during the holidays and still eat cookies or eat whatever without guilt or and we can keep that weight gain at bay. And so that is what I'm really excited to um teach you tonight. And so, all right, let's jump in. So feel free to grab something to take notes on your phone, if you're pen and paper, but also remember, I'm going to be sending you this recording with PDFs too, with all the, the tips on it as well. Okay. So for those who may not know me, I am Jesse Christensen and Yes, I'm a Jesus lover. I'm a crazy aunt. I'm obsessed with my nieces, and nephews. I love coffee and I'm a meal plan coach for busy women. And I just absolutely love helping women create sustainable weight loss through effective meal planning and biblical mindset. And I live for Instagram. It's my jam. So if you are on Instagram, please find me and let's be friends. And then also my website below also has just more about me, what I do, and some um, more things that I offer. All right, let's dive into tip number one. So if you have worked with me for even a little bit of time or have been on my Facebook community or even Instagram, you know I am all about meal planning tips. And so tip number one is plan and prepare your meals during the week. And so as again, you guys all know I'm all about meal planning. However, if this seems a little overwhelming to you, I want you to just take a, some time every single evening and just make note of what you have in the house. I mean, th that is it. Just make note of what foods you have in the, in the house. And I want you to really be intentional about mentally planning your meals as you um, kind of write down what you have in the house, uh, maybe write on a sticky note, I'm going to be sending you a free uh, meal planning template. It's a blank template. So you can actually write out your meal plan or your meals for the week, or even just the foods that you have around the house for the week. So basically you're, I don't want you to go to bed without a plan in place for the next day. And even if that is just writing out what you have in your house for the day. And why is this? Because meal planning or planning and preparing your meals ahead of time really helps you create consistency and helps keep you accountable. And also um, another thing is when we lack certain nutrients in our diet throughout the week, that can really cause cravings. And so if you're lacking nutrients throughout the week, by the time the weekend comes, when you have those holiday parties and get togethers, we're going to be wanting to crave all the things on the dessert table. If we're not intentional about our foods and our meals during the week. So thoughtfully planning your meals to include specific 
nutrients can really help decrease your desire to make those, um, those non-beneficial food choices <laughs> during the weekend. Uh, so planning and preparing your meals will also, as you can see on the bullet points, keep you motivated to stay on track, give you the freedom to enjoy the actual holiday, save you time and money. It will clear up confusion that comes up throughout the week. Um, and it will also you help you be on your way to feeling, looking, and um, with more energy this holiday season. And again, I am just a firm, firm believer in planning and preparing and setting that time aside to really prepare some simple and nourishing meals that can feed you over multiple days, can really save you time and money and really save your sanity throughout the holidays. And if you are saying, well, Jesse, I just, I want some meals and recipes to help me, then stay tuned because I have a really great Black Friday offer that will help you with meal planning um, throughout the holidays. So, um, so focus also on throughout the week, focusing on lean proteins, fresh vegetables, nuts, seeds, whole grains. Um, and really, I think the mindset that I really have during the holidays is really less, instead of focusing on the foods that you want to avoid, focus more on incorporating the more beneficial foods that kind of helps switch that mindset from, oh, I can't have this to, okay, what, can, what do I want? What can I have throughout the week? All right, tip number two is make healthy ingredient substitutions as often as you can. So while there's no arguing that it's easy to get overwhelmed by the food choices this holiday season, right? There's um, so much that, so much, so many opportunities. And the, he, so here are some tips and swaps that I, so having some tips and swaps in your back pocket can help ensure that you really don't stray away too far from your wellness goals in the coming weeks and really help you avoid some overconsumptions of fats and added sugars. And so here are some easy swaps that you can do. And there's tons of them out there, but here are some easy ones. So maybe instead of a um, green bean casserole, you can opt for maybe fresh steamed green beans. Um, it's easy to consume a lot of sugar, as we know, throughout the holidays. So instead of maybe going for a hot chocolate with whipped cream every single night, maybe a couple of days a week, you can go for like a cinnamon tea. That's a great swap to have. Instead of a glass of wine um, or go for a glass of wine or spritzer, instead of maybe eggnog, the, egg, the heavy, heavy eggnog. We all, we all know we love eggnog, but maybe going for a wine or a spritzer instead of eggnog. Um, every single day. Um, let's see. So here's another one of my favorites. So swap out candies or desserts for frozen grapes. And I don't know if you've ever frozen your grapes, but I do that a lot. And I, I recommend that a lot to my clients and those are really good. And those are actually really good swap for candies or when you have that sweet tooth at night. Um, let's see here. Some other, some easy tweaks. So again, holiday time has an endless parade of desserts. We all know that. And um, so instead of, or aim for pumpkin pie instead of pecan pie, um, because that does have a less fewer calories so that, and less fat. So that's just a small switch you can do. And then again, um, instead of those heavy cream and cheese dips, you can aim for maybe chips or uh, hummus and salsa, which has a less fewer calories than those heavy creams and cheeses. So those are just a few, few ingredients. If you need more ideas on how to do that, please let me know. And, um, and so while it's fine again, to definitely indulge every now and then it's also good to have some swaps in mind. So you don't overdo it. And one of my pro tips is that swap as much as you can in between the gap in the, in between the gatherings and the holidays, because during those events, you're probably going to want to have a, you know, some eggnog or one of those nice desserts. But if you can swap as much as you can throughout the week, you'll have a better, uh, less craving and a better mindset when you do go into those, the holidays, holiday event. All right. Tip number three is move your body. 
So let's get moving. Let's get our heart rate up. So exercising regularly can, can really improve our physical and also mental well-being. And even just dedicating 30 minutes a day is really sufficient to achieve the benefits of staying active, such as weight management, you know, you're lowering your risk for cardiovascular diseases, you get better sleep, improvement of mood. So there's a lot of, a lot of benefits to, to moving and movement can just really help make you feel better physically and mentally by helping releasing those endorphins, which are those feel good chemicals that really help boost our moods. And so I know that, uh, where some people live, I mean, I'm in Phoenix where the sun is still out and I can still go outside, but I know a lot of people live where the temperatures are getting, or are, are, are getting really cold and you probably don't want to go outside. So maybe find an at-home workout to do, or join the gym for a month. I mean, even if it's just cleaning your house, moving your body, a dance break, whatever it is, just get your body moving. And, and so a Pro tip too for working out, if you are, are short on time and you do have access to the weights, I definitely recommend hitting the weights at the expense of cardio because building lean muscle is really critical to improving your metabolism. It helps protect your bones and your joints and help you feeling fit and healthy. And also fun fact, the more muscle you have, the more you will burn calories throughout the day. So you'll be able to get a away with a little bit more pecan pie this holiday season. So girl, lift those weights if you can. All right, tip number four, only eat what you absolutely love. And this is what I mean by that. I wanna start with a quick story from when I was growing up in high school. I, so I played fast pitch in high school. And if you know, fast pitch or baseball, you know, that you only get the three strikes and you're out. Right. And so sometimes you can get out, you can strike out looking, sometimes you strike out swinging. And when I would strike out swinging, so I would try to hit the ball. I'd walk back to the dugout. My coach every single time would look me in the eye and he goes, Jesse, did you love it? And he was simply asking me if that pitch was worth swinging at. And 90% of the time, it definitely wasn't worth swinging at. It was probably, it wasn't, it was a ball, but I swung anyway. But this got me really thinking about our nutritional mindset as we head into the season of desserts. And we are going to be surrounded by sweets, of course, at many of our family office parties. And the last thing we want to do is is mindlessly grab at just anything, which is so easy to do, right? And so before you reach for just anything, I want you just to stop, <clears throat> excuse me, and ask yourself first, you know, what do I love the most on this dessert table? What do I love the most on this dessert table? And if it's your grandma's, you know, famous pie that she only brings once a year or your family's secret recipe cookie, then having a slice or two is absolutely worth it. But if you're just grabbing at maybe those store-bought cookies that kind of taste like cardboard, <clears throat> excuse me, if you know what I mean, then you're really just kind of adding extra calories that you don't really need. And let's be honest, you're probably not going to enjoy them either. And so moderation is key here too. And again, we, I don't want you to completely deprive yourself of indulging the holiday desserts, but do take in consideration the amount of sugar that these treats contain in a serving. Maybe eat half of one and share with a friend <clears throat> kind of, um, but I do want to, I want you to keep in mind, you know, that, you know, what do I love the most on this dessert table and go for that one. Cause you want to truly enjoy the food. <clears throat> and if you guys have any questions too, I mean, even throughout this, this presentation for those who are watching live, <clears throat> excuse me, um, please speak up or in the chat or whatever, and I can answer them. <clears throat> Excuse me, got to take a drink of my water. Okay, tip number five is eat breakfast. I don't know about you guys, but I freaking love breakfast. And um, I think most of us have been told that, you know, breakfast is the, one of the most important meals of the day, in which I do believe that. I believe the first meal that we eat whether it's breakfast food or whatever, is that um, it really help? It really sets a healthy tone for the rest of the day. 
and it gives you energy. It helps balance your blood sugar and it helps minimize the risk of those mid morning, you know, mid morning cravings where you just go through a drive through or Starbucks, which I love Starbucks. Don't get me wrong. Um, and so eating breakfast can really help alleviate the cravings by supporting, um, normal blood sugar levels, help boosting brain health and aiding in your natural body's natural process to sustain the energy. So I think throughout the holidays, I would really encourage you to really focus on planning out your breakfast um, and to really incorporate a variety of colors and nutrients and really keeping it easy and delicious. Because when you're excited about eating something, you're most likely gonna, gonna do it. So you wanna make sure it's a, it's a good breakfast. There's a good first meal of the day. Um, so some examples, choosing breakfast options that are high in protein and fiber, like oatmeal and eggs are a good one. Make a smoothie. If you guys know me, I'm all about the smoothies. I think that's such a great option for a complete breakfast. Um, a basic smoothie ingredient is super simple. It could just be a, you know, a source of protein powder, uh, almond milk, some frozen fruit that you love, and maybe a handful of spinach. That is a complete breakfast. I believe that, and it will help set the tone for the day. <clears throat> All right, number six, limit holiday cocktails. You guys, I love holiday cocktails. My aunt makes the best fun holiday cocktails. So I am all about the cocktails, but we definitely, again, wanna, wanna have them in moderation. And so, you know, alcohol containing beverages contain a significant amount of empty calories, which means really no nutritional value. And really they're, they're heavy in sugar as well. So it, um, recommend drinking water in between cocktails in order to pace yourself and avoid overconsumptions, a good one, or you can just opt to avoid alcohol altogether and enjoy soda water with lime or lemon or whatever it may be. <clears throat> and also don't forget your freebie. So if you haven't received it yet, um, you should get it in the email when you signed up that uh, five healthier holiday drinks for you. So great options for the holiday season. All right, last three, watch portion sizes. So during this time of year, again, we are surrounded by food more frequently than, frequently than any other time of year. I think we can all agree on that. And these office from, office parties and family gatherings and holiday gift baskets, they all expose us to an abundance of food. Um, but these options usually consist of very um, high sugar snacks and higher calorie meals. So we want to be definitely more um, aware of just our portions that we're consuming. And so um, a quick rule of thumb or some guides on portion sizes is that the amount of protein in your meal should be about the size of the palm of your hand or about four ounces. Um, I use the palm of my hand a lot for uh, portion sizes when it comes to carbohydrates or protein. You can definitely use the palm of your hand and that is a good portion for a meal. And so fruits and, veg fruits and vegetables should really count for really half of our plate. I mean, you can never really over consume on fruits and vegetables. And so I would always recommend aiming for those as much as you can throughout this time to really get those in. And then again, fruits and nuts, and those are great. Um, a good portion would be about um, half a cup or um, half a cup. Yeah, half a cup. That's what I mean. Half a cup of the uh, nuts for you. So that's just a quick, uh, quick guideline on portions and just something to, again, be aware of this time of year. And the last two, so number eight is manage sleep and stress. And so stress can oftentimes be a trigger for cravings, as I'm sure a lot of us maybe experience that. But, um, but all, again, not all stress is negative. However, prolonged periods of stress can lead to really serious health conditions. Um, and it's been well-established and a lot of um, scientific literature that said that stress can also increase consumption of sugary and salty foods um, because of those long periods of stress. And just like stress, sleep can really affect our cravings. 
So we definitely need to be more intentional about getting sleep this time of year. And so the recommended sleeping time is seven to nine hours per night. And so getting this recommended amount of sleep each night can really help maintain your normal level levels of, of hunger and really help keep those cravings at bay. So managing sleep and stress is a big one this time of year. Okay. And then number nine, one of my favorite tips is be thankful. And last but not least, let's remember to be thankful. So let's try to shift our focus this season on our family and our friends and the fun and not be consumed by the food. And the holidays are just such a special time for us to bond with our loved ones and create lasting memories. And this is such a perfect time to do that. And so let's just take some time this holiday season to really express gratitude for the people around us. And like I have here, the world may feel a little extra heavy lately. And I think we're all just in a little need of, of our people and pecan pie and Christmas carols. And so all those things. And so my tip for you is number nine is just, um, remember to be grateful and thankful. So just some clothing, closing thoughts here. Um, I just want to wish you guys all a happy holidays and cheers to pausing in the chaos to be grateful for what is right in front of us. And let's always remember that there's always, always, always something to be grateful for this holiday season. Okay, so, so for some next steps, um, because you can get all the information and consume all the information, but if you're not putting that into action, then you're not gonna be really making any steps forward. And so I want you to choose just three of these tips that you want to implement into your lifestyle this holiday season. And so I want you to write them down, whether it's on a sticky note or you can even send them to me, I'd love to hear them. But um, I want you to write them down because that's gonna help keep you more accountable. And then don't forget to download the freebies. I'm gonna send you an email after this. So you got your five healthier holiday drinks and you got your meal plan template. And that's going to help you in terms of meal planning for, for the holiday season. And then join the Facebook group for continued support. If you have not, if you're not part of our community, I really want to invite you to join. It is a group of just busy women encouraging each other to sustainable weight loss and also just encouraging each other through this holiday season and also be sharing more in that community as the holiday season goes on. And you'll find me there if you need any extra support. Oh, gotta go back. Okay. So as I, like I mentioned, I'm doing my Black Friday sale. I'm announcing it to you guys first. So I have a recipe book called Healthier Holiday Favorites Recipe Book of 40 healthy holiday recipes you're going to love. And again, like I said, let's be honest, easy to cook because we don't want something. We don't want to be in the kitchen for hours and hours trying to cook something. But this includes 40 recipes for you. It inclu includes 10 appetizers. 15 main dishes, 10 side dishes, and five desserts that you can make. So this is a great um, idea for you if you just, one, need recipes for the holiday, just for you yourself to make throughout the week. And two, if you want to make something special for your next holiday party um, or event, this is a great option for you. And it's only $9 for you guys. So I use this code, hopefully you can see it, Holiday Helper. I'm going to send you the link of the email or you can go to my website, jessiebchristensen.com and go to the shop and put in that code and you can have it for $9. And then if you purchase this, let's see, purchase this recipe book, you will also, also get a hundred dollars off my new transform his temple online program in 2022. So I am doing a beta program right now with 12 women who are going through this new online platform. And so if you purchase this recipe book, you'll get an extra hundred dollars off when I launch it 
in the new year. So at any time throughout the next year, you can purchase this program and get $100 off. So that is combined with the recipe book. Okay. Lastly, let's connect. I would love, again, you guys, Instagram is my jam. I love Instagram. So please find me on Instagram. I would love to connect with you. You can go to my website at jessiebchristensen.com. And again, my Facebook group, which I love too. I love the community there. And please um, make your way there. And um, I want to officially invite you to that. And that is it. I want to thank you guys for taking the time out tonight to listen, those who are live and those who are watching the recording. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful and beneficial. And again, I'll, I'll be sending you the um, email soon. So I hope you guys have a great rest of the night. And um, I'm going to stop recording here.